Hi guys and welcome to a quick video. Now at the end of September 2021, a lot of people have found their NCB GET container has stopped working. This video is how to fix it. Okay guys, so over the last few days I've had a few of my patrons message me saying their NCB GET's not working. And you guys, you may well find that yours isn't either. And the reason for this is recently, the Let's Encrypt root certificate has expired at the end of September 2021. For most things, this isn't a problem, but it does seem to be a problem for NCB GET. As you can see here, nothing's actually downloading. There's 58 things queued up to download, no activity going on at all. So nothing's downloading, just everything's queued. Now, like I said, this is due to that certificate expiration and NCB GET does a check to check that's all fine. Now we can turn that off, that's the easy way to do it, and I'll show you how to do that. But afterwards I'm going to show you the much better way of fixing it, so you can still have the verification enabled. Now obviously there's other reasons why your NCB GET may not be working, so to check this is the problem, we want to go to Settings, then New Servers, then scroll down to the bottom of a new server and press Test to test the new server. Then if you get this error here, saying the TLS certificate verification has failed, that's probably down to the Let's Encrypt certificate expiring. Now this video probably won't be relevant for very long, so I'm sure this will be fixed very soon. And then the updates to the containers will have the fix in it. But for now we need to fix the problem ourselves. So the easy way is just turn off the actual verification check. So we want to go to security here, and scroll down near the bottom, and here we'll see cert check. We can set this to no. So now let's save the changes and try this out. We need to reload NZB GET. And straight away we can see everything's working. So you could just do this temporarily until there's an update which fixes it. And after the update to the container's done, come back and turn it off and then check again and see if everything's working. But for me, I don't want to use this workaround. I'm going to use an edited cacert.pem certificate and fix it that way. So to do that, we're going to have to go into a console window in the actual container itself. Okay, so you can see here, there's three NCB GETs installed. That's because I'm going to show you how to do this on three different containers. The ones I've got here is the Linux server NCB GET, NCB GET VPN, which is the one I use, and this other NCB GET VPN container here. Now you'll see why I'm showing you how to do it on three different ones as we go along. So I'm going to open up a console window here. And basically we're looking for a file called cacert.pem. So I'm going to list out the files on this container here. And on NCB GET VPN, it's inside the SBIN folder here. So I'm going to type CD space forward slash SBIN forward slash and then NCB NCB GET underscore bin. And now you see if I list out the files here, there's the file that I'm looking for. Now in the description, there's a command that you can copy. Paste that in here, and what this command does is first, it deletes the original cacert.pem file here, and then it downloads another one from the NCB GET website, so you know it's good, and just replaces it. Okay, so that's done. I clear the screen and list out the files. We can see it's there. So now all we have to do now is restart the container for that to take effect. Okay, so before we go and have a look, I'm going to show you for these other two containers here how to do the same. So the other NCB GET VPN container here, I'm going to start that, then open a console window again. Here let's list out the files. We can see here there's a folder called NCB GET, nice and easy. So let's go inside that, list out the files, and there's that file again. So we just want to put in the same command and hit enter, but here we see that wget isn't installed. Okay, so let's install that. So now I'm going to type apt-get update. And I'm going to type apt-get space install wget. And yes. Okay, let's clear the screen. So pop in the command again. And now let's list out the files. The new .pem files there. So we can close this. And then you just restart the container just like we did the other one. Okay, so lastly, the Linux server NCB get here, 
let's start it up open a console window and again let's just list out the files in the linux server container the file we need is in this folder here called app so let's go into that folder there if we list the files we'll see a folder called ncb get so let's cd into that one there's the file we want to replace so pop in the command from the description and that's downloaded list out the files okay it's there so now all we need to do is restart the container and everything's done so once you've changed that file in your ncb get container when you go back into the web gui now you should find everything back to normal and all your downloads continuing now obviously in this short video i couldn't show you for every single ncb get container but basically just find out where the ncb get executable is you'll find that ca cert pem file in the same place run the script to delete the original and replace it with the new edited file Okay guys, that's all from me for now. I need to go back to editing my other video, comparing different GPUs and CPUs in transcoding. So until that video guys, I'm going to say goodbye and whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.